In this video, we will see how to trigger different clips and different video effects at different moments in the song. Um, and so you'll see in the in our script.js file, um, here are the clips that you loaded during the last section. Um, and so they have different names. So um, the names of each of those um, is this word that appears before the equal sign. So um, that's sort of basically it's a shorthand. So um, now the word image zero refers to um, this video that's loaded here in this in in this case it's the cactus video um and so if you scroll down a little bit um there's this word function and uh what's here inside the function is telling the computer what to load at the beginning of the video or when you press pause you'll see when i um when i click the video um and then when i click click again um the same the same thing loads and so uh what's the the functions or actions that happen inside this function background are uh correspond to what is loaded at the very beginning and so if i want to change what's loaded at the very beginning i could for example here instead of uh image zero i could put um video zero and then we could see what so video zero it's a little hard to see but it's this cat uh djing we could load video one uh i could load video two which is um this i could load video three uh, which is this flying cat and I don't have a video for um, and then in the same way I could load different effects. So let's say I stick with this video three, but then um, I could try effect zero. And, oops, um, I could try effect zero, which is basically where the color changes when I move the mouse. I could try um, effect one is what was already there. Let's see, um, effect two is this kind of repeating thing. Um, effect three. Uh, is this trails. Effect four is this warp. Um, and so these are the effects that came that I we added to this example. But um, if you want to make m many more effects and blend different clips together and things like that, then um, I will show you how to do that later. Basically, um, that requires learning more about how to use Hydra Video Synthesizer. Um, but for now, we'll just use these trigger the clips that you've already loaded and the um, uh, these different effects and basically trigger them at different times in the song. Um, so um, again, whatever you put here is what will be loaded at the beginning. So I kind of liked uh, loading my cactus at the beginning. Um, so I'll go back to image zero. And I liked also um, uh, using effect, or what was it, effect one at the beginning? Yeah, effect one at the beginning. So I like this as my default. Um, and so the last piece here is this timeline where we can trigger different things at different times. And um, basically with the timeline, you sort of add different cues um, and the cues have a number, which is the number of seconds that have gone past when that um, event or function or action should happen. Um, and then here, the second parameter is the actual action or function that should be called. And you'll see the rest of the um, code contains all of these effects. 
Um, and so for now, we'll just use these built-in effects, which is the ones that I just showed you, which is effect zero, effect one, effect two, effect three. Um, and the, the functions to load and trigger different videos. Um, so, so the, what's happening right now is there's kind of a lot of different things going on. And so to keep it simple, what I'm going to do is actually, I will, uh, get rid of these cues. Um, so let's see. Um, so now it's only calling when I click, it's calling just this one, this one cue, um, to play the cactus video. Um, then when I click again, it goes back to the cactus image. Um, And you can't actually set the cues to start right at zero because of the way the code works. So you have to do this kind of very small number. Um, so um, let's say, okay, so I start with this video, uh, video two. And um, how about um, maybe after... Um, Four seconds, I want to switch to video zero. So now I'll click and let's see. So there it switched. Um, so I started with video two and after four seconds, it switched to video zero. Um, and you'll see here, if I type something wrong, the red dot appears and also doesn't load. So it, you'll know kind of immediately maybe if you type something wrong. Um, and let's say with video zero, maybe I want a different effect. So I'm gonna type timeline add Q and I'm gonna put, um, I will add this at the eighth second and um, I'm going to do effect number um, four. So let's see what happens. There we go. And so you'll see that um, it keeps the video that was loaded previously, but it applies a new effect. So um, that allows you to kind of change one thing at a time. Um, yeah, so go ahead and, um, you know, think about maybe based on the song you're using, what, what clips you want to appear when and what effects you would like to use. Um, I haven't shown you yet how to edit the effects. Um, but I will point you in that direction in the next video.